the end of the day, the two most valuable resources for everything you want in your life, it's not complicated, emotional states, energy, that's it, think about it. If you don't feel good, how are you gonna enjoy this thing we call life? If you don't feel good, people don't wanna be around you. And not to mention also, if you don't feel good, how are you gonna stop yourself from saying things you know you shouldn't be saying? It's almost a cliche, oh, I should have said this, I should have said that, but that's because you're not addressing the core. That's where all the concepts you're getting from the books, videos, maybe even your counselor, you got some great concepts, but no ability to execute. When you can control your emotions, that is the foundation for that. Again, just making everything very simple here. So the reason why, you've probably looked back at your life and said, wow, things are not going the way I want, that's because you've never addressed the core before. But when you feel fantastic, that gives you all the, the odds in your favor to actually execute in the way that's, uh, that, that's gonna behoove you and your relationship. But at the end of the day, when you feel great, you're just good. And that's what everyone wants. So let's keep things simple here. But any process you're gonna do to resurrect yourself, your relationships, and your life has to start with that foundation. It does not matter what you know. All your concepts go out the window as soon as you feel fear, sadness, anger. As soon as you feel that stuff, what good are your concepts? They're worth nothing. So it does not matter what you know, it matters what you can do. And if you can't control your emotions, you effectively know zero. Any process you're gonna to do to you know, work on your relationships and your life needs to dress at the core. Number two, energy. Energy is the fuel for everything you're looking for. You know, how are you gonna make your dreams come true? How are you gonna make your relationship to the next level if you don't have any gas in the gas tank? Does that make sense? But that's not a concept, that's a skill, that's a conditioning. And by the way, on that note, a lot of people talk about mindsets and, uh, and beliefs. That's not really what they're looking for. If you think about it, how are you gonna have a mindset when you feel like shit? How's that gonna work out? Your ability to execute is a conditioning, it's the way you feel. The conditioning is actually what allows you to execute a mindset or execute a belief. Beliefs and, and mindsets alone, without the conditioning, without that energy, without that fuel, they're worthless. So at the end of the day, what everyone really wants is a conditioning. And again, that's a skill, that's a process, that's not, that's not a concept. And that's why my, the people that work with me, my clients that do the Refocus on Happiness program, they're good either way. Hey, some people get back together their exes, some don't, and most of them don't even want that person back. But when you feel great, it's a whole different level, not just for your relationships, but for your entire life. So let's kind of close up here. Two most valuable resources, energy and emotional states. When you feel great, you speak great. When you feel great, you just execute a completely different level. That's what makes all your techniques actually executable. Um, and if you, any, when, if any of you are dealing with stuff where you're trying to get you know, a, a job back, a business back, relationship back, you first have to get you back. And again, to get you back, that's conditioning. When you get you back first, and you're now at this level, people want to line up with you. Think about it. A lot of you are dealing with breakups and you're kind of in a rut, you're in a fog. No one wants to be around you. And you the decision to be in a relationship is an emotional decision. It's not logical. You know, you can't take a PowerPoint presentation and say, oh, you're going to want to be around me because of A, B, and C. It doesn't work like that. People either want to be around you or they don't based on how they feel when they're around you. So if you have a relationship that's not going so well, you have all the concepts in the world, but if you're not enjoyable to be around, Good luck with that, that's not gonna work out very well. You can have all the best qualities in the world, but if someone doesn't enjoy their experience with you, that's not gonna work out too well. But to get yourself back there, you can't concept your way there. That's a conditioning, that's, a, that's your ability to control the way you feel, okay? So again, uh, I'll kinda close on this note here. Steve Martin has a great phrase. He says, be so good at what you do, people cannot ignore you. I'm gonna show you such, I'm gonna make it so obvious what is available to you when you actually finally dress the core. And by the way, on that note, uh, again, this is this is a, a biological process. It allows you to rewire, recondition your brain like you re, well, like you recondition a muscle. I got doctors to do my program. Why do you think that is? A lot of you might have heard the idea of neuroplasticity, brain cells that fire together and wire together, but this is a true practical experience allowing you to recondition, rewire your brain like you recondition muscle. Same thing. And again, it allows you to keep moving at higher and higher levels. Um, but anyway, so bottom line is that is what addresses the core. That's what allows you to take your, your relationships and your life to levels you ultimately want to go. Anyway, enjoy it. I'm gonna make this so obvious for you in this, the end part of this video here, where you see a bunch of people that are just like you, uh, same situations. At the end of the day, no offense to you guys, but your, your situation is not as unique as you think it is. You have a brain that is capable of incredible things if you give it the right process, the right condition, the right stimulus. You have no idea what you're capable of. And again, at the end of the day, everything you've done is because you want to feel a certain way, but to feel a certain way consistently, that's a conditioning process, and that's why you're gonna to wanna to address the core. So enjoy the video, I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. So Renee, what brought you my way? Okay, so I um, I think I had a little bit of a different experience than a lot of the people that I heard through their stories with training and, and uh, the Q and A's. I 
didn't have a a 20 year marriage where I, um, you know, where we broke up, it was more, I've been in a awful cycle of dating for the last two years. I'm not historically a dater. I, um, always was single or found myself in a relationship, um, never dated, never actively pursued trying to find love. And then I decided that I was ready and I wanted to find somebody. So I, started dating mostly online and it was a horrible experience for me. Um, I came across so many, (laughs) so many disasters. It it was really awful. It really broke down my confidence. It really disheartened me as far as understanding what was out there. It was, it was really awful. And then I did meet somebody that um, he was a high quality guy and um it was a very short-lived thing but um he was my catalyst because it was like the final straw it's just the icing on the cake of god another failure how how am I gonna find what I'm looking for Uh, just a number of failed experiences with uh dating Mm -hmm. and the fact that it had really knocked me down um knocked my confidence knocked my faith in, um, being able to find somebody. Um, I found a lot in that process about myself. Um, I, I have had a really high fear of rejection. Um, I think I had a pretty high feeling of, um, unworthiness, especially when it comes to love. I mean, there's a lot of things in my life that I excel at and I have a lot of confidence in, but when it comes to relationships and love, it's, the missing piece in my life that I've just never been able to do as well as I do in other aspects of my life. So it just kept building and building. And then this um, short lived relationship that I had, he broke up with me. I didn't know why really. Um, I thought, I thought we were having fun. Um, And I was really sad. I I think it was just a, the, like I said, the final straw, um, Mm -hmm. And that's that's what brought me here. Gotcha. So you got a little tired of the, the cycles, right? Yes. A out of the whole process and not knowing when, you know, is there a light at the end of the tunnel here? And just just kind of got, sounds like you just got a little fed up with everything. And that last one was just the final straw. After all that sifting, and again, a lot of people don't understand this here. If you don't have a good practical way to sift because you mm-hmm. feel differently, you can't speak how you don't feel. If you, and you don't make good decisions, you don't feel good. If you don't have a good practical way to control the way you feel, you're making it impossible to sift and really go through and screen for the right people. You'll let people in because you're just so needing something to work out. But when you feel great yourself, which is you learned, is not a concept, it's a conditioning, you can act, respond, and make way better decisions, make it impossible for the wrong people, make it right for the right people. I have some people where that other person is separated and they're just sitting there um, you know, literally in the batter's box, hoping, wishing, wanting for weeks, months, or even years. And that becomes excruciating after a while when you have no idea when it's actually truly going to end. And some of these people confuse a little, little respite, a little bright light for a day or two, where all of a sudden, a week later, they go right back into it again, and they don't have any reason to, to know they broke that cycle permanently, whether that's in dating as a whole or a relationship you've been in with for decades that, that, you know, this is for people that really want to have a permanent way to actually get out of that emotional roller coaster. And, and that's, yeah. and, and your, your catalyst that I like to refer to, that was that person said, you know what, I've had enough. So whether it's uh whether it's uh someone in dating where you're burnt out of that cycle or you're in a relationship, you're going back and forth and you're tired of that back and forth or that waiting, wishing, wanting, hoping, that's exactly who this is for. Yeah. And, and awesome. I, so, so question for you, how do you now, now after you've done what you've done, how do you feel about your ability, your consistency, your conditioning that you broke out of that cycle? I feel like, um, <laughs> I feel like an entirely different person. Um, I feel like I have broken out of that cycle. Um, I feel a lot more confident. Mm-hmm. I feel a lot 
stronger that I know exactly how to approach dating Mm -hmm. compared to how I was before. I still have a lot of work. Um, It's progress, not or progression, not perfection, right? So I still have a lot further to go. I don't, I wouldn't say, um, I'm not even sure I'm a hundred percent ready to find that person yet at Mm -hmm. this point, which I thought before this, I was ready. So learning that maybe I'm not quite ready is, has actually been a pretty big step for me. Um, but I, I have so much more knowledge about how, where, where I need to come from and where I was coming from and how I was approaching things. Um, I was, I was pretty desperate to just find anything and I was really Mm -hmm. putting up with some dumb shit. So I, um, I won't do that anymore. I have a contract with myself now and I know exactly what, how to move forward. I need to worry about the things that I want. And that has to be my major focus. And that's, I was not doing that before. Awesome. So, awesome. so, so again, I'm going to put a little, uh, so yeah, this would be great for everyone here. And there's one person particularly, and she knows who she is. I'm going to have her watch this video after we're done here. And this is somebody who's been married for decades and she'll watch this video later on today, along with other people, of course. And I want her to know and anyone to know here, if you're really sick and tired of not knowing how to break that cycle, don't confuse a day or two where you feel like a little bit better, but like truly ending what has been going on for months or even years. That's who this is for, whether you're, whether you're again, that dating, trying to break that burnout of that dating cycle and really having a much better way to really pick the right people because you feel better. Or whether you've been you've been with somebody for decades and your relationship is coming to perhaps a close and knowing like, you know what, I can be great regardless consistently. And so that person who is going to watch this video later, including other people, it's like, I really want them to know if you really want that cycle to end forever, uh, you, you, better, you better address that emotional core. So if I'm hearing you right, Renee, you feel pretty good about yourself being able to have great days, feel good, bounce back, regardless of what comes your way in the future? Yes, absolutely. I feel absolutely. And I and, feel and, resilient mm-hmm. and powerful and mm-hmm. grateful. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I feel I feel um I feel really good. I don't know. Good, good, good. <laughs> I don't have words. Yeah. What, how would you describe the different? And remember, this is a relatively short period of time. I have tons of people, including that person who's going to watch this video, who's going to go to counselors for months, doesn't get anywhere, even admits that things are getting worse. And I tell people, they think I'm crazy till they see that I'm not. First two days, you'll start noticing a difference in the way you feel and bounce back. And that's not going to come from some run of the mill cookie cutter counselor. That's just not going to happen. How would you describe the difference in how you feel now, really just a few weeks later, relatively speaking? compared to where you were when you and I first started. How would you describe the difference in the way you feel, the way you bounce back, your ability to feel confident as far as your ability to have a great day consistently? How would you describe the differences, the disparity between how you started versus how you are now, literally just a few weeks a few weeks later, relatively speaking, July 27th, 2022? How do you feel now compared to the starting? So the first thing or the biggest difference that I notice is, um, my gosh, that week that I reached out to you, I was, I was really sad. I mean, I was in a low, sad place that, that is actually not something I experience that often to be at that low. Mm-hmm. And, um, within two days of, uh, starting your program, I haven't felt that kind of sadness once, not even close. Mm-hmm. I mean, the, mm-hmm. you, you always say the, um, higher highs and higher lows. Mm-hmm. My, I notice such a difference in my mm-hmm. higher lows. I don't mm-hmm. have, I have not had a single day with that kind of low. And I don't suspect that I ever will again in my whole life. I don't think that I'll ever be that low again. Um, so taking sadness out of my picture mm-hmm. is hands down the most noticeable thing. Everything else has been a little more subtle. I, um, I feel, I definitely feel more resilient. Mm -hmm. I, um, I can shift my, my thoughts. If I have a negative thought, I can immediately tell myself, no, there's no room 
for both negative and positive thoughts. Why would I put lip, save room for a negative when there's mm -hmm. so much positive? And I can make those shifts, things that, I, that's something I couldn't do before. Mm -hmm. um, in general, I am more confident. I think that's still an area that I have a ways to go. Um, but I know, I know how to get there now. Um, that's a great differentiator. To anyone listening here, this is a true biological process, not a magic trick. You, isn't it true, Renee? You could also say if you've gone from lifting 100 pounds in week one to lifting 140, that much more stronger, faster, quicker in just a few weeks. Sure, you can get to 200, 250. But do you think you would have ever moved this fast and quickly, especially from where you were without this process? No, no, absolutely not. No. And do you feel pretty good about your ability to keep accelerating in a consistent daily way, regardless of who you hear from or don't hear from? Yes. Do you think you would have had that without this process? No. There you no. go. This is for people that want their hand off the hot stove permanently that would never take a risk by themselves. You know, this is for people that do want that off the, that again, off that emotional roller coaster permanently. But um, and it's also for people that understand one little rare day where you, the, the sun comes out, that's not a fucking solution. A solution is nothing less than true daily consistency. Even for if you hear, I mean. Imagine, Renee, you heard from that catalyst. Imagine you heard from that catalyst three days after you started with me. Imagine you'd heard from them, but you and I were not working together. You think you would have went right back into that emotional turmoil all over again? Yeah, I think I yeah. probably would have. And I have some people, including one person who's going to watch this call later, that she and I both know, if she hears from that person who's just doing his own thing, she's not going to do so well. Mm -hmm. And she needs to, and again, this is for people who never want to roll the dice. And this is really here to speak to people that really say, you know what? I just don't feel great regardless. I don't want to sit in that batter's box anymore. I want to feel, I want to accelerate and move faster than I ever have in a permanent way. Do you feel you got a permanent solution, Renee? I do. Yeah. Do you feel like you'd ever need to do another personal development again, a book, a program or anything like that ever again? I'm not saying, by the way, to anyone listening here, I would always encourage personal development, but there's a difference between doing it from a position of, fuck, this is not good versus I feel great. I just want to do even better. Do you think you would ever need to do another personal development again, ever again, a, a program ever again? No, I don't think I would need to. I know mm -hmm. I want to because, Good. yeah, because this experience just makes me want more. Awesome. So to close here, unless you have any other last things you want to say at the end of here, this is not a long one here. This is for people, for lack of a better phrase, who don't want to fuck around, want to get their life feeling great regardless and have a great day every day consistently and would never and has had truly enough of their hand on hot stove want it off permanently regardless of the person does or doesn't do because for those people that would continue to sit in that batter's box it can be a very long next several months or years and if you and for when for anyone listening here if i'm for you if you really don't want to sit there and keep rolling the dice and have for the first time a true permanent one and done outcome and to close here unless renee you want to say anything at the end here this is a true one and done. I don't offer an advanced program. I don't offer like a next step. So if you work with somebody that doesn't offer that, uh, that's not too good. Why would you ever work with somebody that has a part two, a part three, a part four? That just doesn't make sense. And if you really truly value yourself enough to give yourself the best tools and best life, you should not want to, I don't think you should want to work with somebody that gives you some kind of open-ended graduation date. So last uh, last question here, Renee, and this has been awesome. Thank you so much for sharing your experience, which I think some people will really appreciate. Um, is there anything else that you think would be uh, valuable for any last things that maybe I didn't cover or any last comments you'd want to say to anybody you think people would um, uh, get value from? Um, last comments. Um, I think that it is a um, it's a big risk to take to um, invest that much money in yourself, mm -hmm. but it's actually one of the best things that I did for myself. I mean, the to actually invest in myself, it was the first step of self love and and really mm -hmm. make taking action and and trying to change something that's been a problem for a really long time. So, yes. There was a uh, there was some hesitancy with the with the money, but mm -hmm. um, it, it besides it just obviously working and and being everything that you said it would be um, you know I guess there's a little bit of 
hesitancy with, um, you know, whether it's actually going to work, like, like you say, but I think from all the experiences that you have out there and all the testimonials, people probably understand that it does work. Um, and it must work for every single person that does the program exactly as you say. Um, but to have the understanding that that investment in yourself is mm -hmm. more than just spending money. It's actually taking your first step of self-love and healing yourself. 